do the class. Today we are going to look at the differences between formal and informal letters. Let's begin by defining each of them. A formal letter is an official letter that is written to a person who occupies a position of authority. Examples are letters to your president, governor, commissioner, minister, judge, inspector general of police, chief of army staff, and so on. An informal letter is a personal letter that is written to somebody that is very close to the writer. Examples are letters to your father, mother, brother, sister, niece, nephew, cousin, auntie, uncle, friend, classmate, etc. Let's see the, the address of uh, the sample address of a formal letter. Now, a formal letter has two addresses. First one at the top hand right corner of the paper is the writer's address. And uh, immediately uh, below the writer's address is the receiver's address. Now, when you are writing the receiver's address, you are going to use the position of the receiver uh, at the first expression on that letter. For example, the principal, even if you know the name of the principal, you are not going to mention the principal's name here. You mention the, uh, his position, the principal, then the address, Shikaba Kagumi Academy, plus 177 Nico Road, Asukura Abuja. This is the receiver's address. So, in a formal letter, we have two addresses, the writer's address and the receiver's address. Now, let's see a sample address of an informal letter. Now, this is the, the receiver's address. In an informal letter, you are expected to write only the receiver's, only the writer's address is expected here. You are expected to write only your own address. You, and you are not expected to write the receiver's address. It is assumed that there is a close relationship between the writer and the receiver. Then, then we are going to look at the differences between the two. Having looked at the, the, the definitions and addresses, we are going to see more of their differences here. Now, let the informal letter, it is official or business like. Whereas an informal letter is, it is personal or intimate. It is a letter you write to someone who is very close to you. Now, number two, now, a formal letter with two addresses. We have already mentioned this. An informal letter uses one address. Now, a formal letter uses a title or caption. That is the heading. An informal letter does not have any title. It has no title. A formal letter uses yours faithfully. That is uh, at the complimentary close. Why an informal letter uses your sincerely at the complimentary close. You can also use yours affectionately, yours truly, yours lovingly, and so many other ways. Now, number five, the formal letter requires the writer's signature and full name. In a formal letter, the writer is expected to append his signature at the end, at the subscription. The writer is expected to append his signature and his full name. Full name means your first name and surname should be there. In an informal letter, it requires the writer's first name only without signature. In an informal letter, the writer is expected to write his first name, only his first name, without any signature. The writer is expected to write something like yours. Sincerely, 
Belo, who stop? That is it. Not only the first name is who they here. Now, number six. Formal letter uses who words. Who words like do not, will not, shall not, cannot. An informal letter uses contracted words. Shortened words. Contracted words means shortened words. Now let's see contracted words here. If in a formal letter you have do not, the counterpart in an informal letter is don't. Will not, won't, shall not, shan't, cannot, can't. So these are shortened words, these are full words. So if you are to write an informal letter, you are expected to use contracted words this way. If you are uh, writing a formal letter, you are expected to use full words this way. Alright? Now, your homework, you are expected to write a sample complementary clause of both formal and informal letters. A sample complementary clause, complementary clause, otherwise known as subscription. Subscription. So, in you are expected to write both uh, complementary clause of verb, the formal and informal letter. Two of them should be written side by side. You write the complementary clause of the formal letter, and thereafter uh, write the complementary clause of an informal letter. Let's call it a day again. 